Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, but I will be making some big moves and I'm gonna discuss them on here right now. I'm gonna be moving some stocks around and I'm gonna be taking advantage of what I think is gonna be some rapid growth and some, I should, when I say rapid growth, I mean big time price appreciation in a certain industry. So stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. For those new to the channel, I'm Stockmo. I had a lot of people ask me about my background. I do have two master's degrees in business and an undergrad in business as well. And I put all that together. I went out there, I was a financial advisor for a while, as well as an educator. I was a teacher for many years. I taught high school and college level classes in management, finance, investing, all kinds of good things. And we even, even was able to coach two national championship teams in investing. We were invited to Washington DC down to the Capitol and I got to meet a lot of big time people as well as 15 state championships in the state of Pennsylvania where I was invited with the teams onto the Capitol floor during live sessions, which was a big honor multiple times. So I've been very proud of my career, but now I put it all together and I come on here to to try to help everyone out there to reach that level of financial freedom that we're all striving for, you know, to help the family, get your kids through college, all that good stuff. But of course I have to do it for entertainment purposes only. I'm no longer licensed, but I do look at this as a way to help to educate people, to try to help. There is no gimmicks here. It's just, I'm just showing you what I'm going to be investing, where I think it would be the wisest place for my money. And I hope you would pay attention here, you know, check it out, do some due diligence, talk to your financial advisors, of course, and see what they would think is well because I'm sure they're up to date on some of this stuff going forward. So today I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button, become part of the community here. It helps support the channel. It helps me hit the little bell for notifications and hit all. And every time I put a video out there, you'll see the newest research I've just completed. Today is a special day because I, I'm moving some stocks around today. For, and if you would like to see all the stocks I'm moving around, I have a Patreon. And the Patreon is a way to give back to us creators here on YouTube to help support everything. I've just stop teaching to do this full time and you can come over you'll see all my portfolios i send notifications out when i buy and sell stocks and we have a private discord that you can come in and talk to thousands of others investors and it's just awesome because we have everything from penny stocks option growth stocks dividends you name it we discuss it in there and it's awesome we have uh, channels from all over the world to boot and more importantly i have a link down below for weeble you'll get four free stocks for putting 100 bucks in there and it's from 21 dollars guaranteed all the way up to 3700 possible dollars Depends if the random, random number generator is on your side or not. But at the end of the day, it's free money. You put a hundred bucks in, have some fun with some of the stocks I'm talking about, and you can go forward from there. I know I have like four or five, six different uh, accounts for different brokerage houses. Uh, my biggest now is, I believe it is Weeble now. We're getting close. I think it's right there tied. So Weeble is getting up there. I'll be using their software to talk about the stocks today, and I'm, I'm sure you're ready for it. So let's get right into it. Now, here's what I was thinking. Last night I talked about, I watched the NEO stock after hours that came up with a $1.3 billion convertible senior notes offering, which to me is honestly, I didn't see it as a big deal. And, but uh, the market did not react positively right out of the gate. It was down almost 6% when I was making my video. It came out, I think I read and got notified by some people at 402 and did a little quick video out here and that was it. I didn't, and even by the time the video was done, it was only down like 3%. So I could see it was already coming back and that it was an overreaction by a lot of people just to sell because I hear, hey, they're raising money, sell, sell, sell. Because I, I am one of the biggest people out here to tell you if you have a capital raise, it can be very detrimental to that short-term stock price, but I'm a long-term holder of this stock. I do see big things moving forward with NEO, and I have said it before with the, the solid-state batteries, the, the manufacturing increasing from up to 150,000 by the end of this year, 300,000 vehicles by the end of next year, you know, 300 points of sale by the end of this year. They have so many good things going for them, you know. I just, you know, the battery as a service is hitting in there at about 40% of all new orders are hitting that. I said that's gonna be a long-term winner. I'm talking the big money from that will start to roll in down the road. That is, I think people are underestimating the actual revenue increases they're getting off of each sale with the battery as a service, but that's a whole different ball game. We're not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the newest stocks I'm gonna be investing in. And one of the big things I took out of it, and I've been doing some research now, 
and I'm ready to pull the trigger. And I'm gonna share that with all of you to give you something to think about today as you're looking at maybe buying some new investments. We had a little bit of a little bit of a choppy day yesterday. NASDAQ down over 1.2% gives me an opportunity to look into the NASDAQ, see where I can put some of my money to take advantage of a sale price. And this is what I came up with. So here you go, you got my five stocks here. You're gonna see three ETFs uh, in the semiconductor zone. I love it, I love it, I love it. I've been loving this for a long time. NVIDIA, as I've been told it was called, I think it was called NVIDIA, NVIDIA. NVIDIA, NVIDIA, am I saying it right? Help me out here, NVIDIA. So at the end of the day, it's a wonderful company. I've owned it for years, even if I did say the name wrong. But uh, at the end of the day, I do like that company, but then I started to think, how can investors out there who are considering it not put all their their money, you know, all their eggs in one basket? And I thought the simplest way is always diversification. I'm a big proponent of diversification. Look at the ETS. So I went out and found three ETS for everybody: PSI, SOXX, and SMH. And you're going to see these are all three. You can look up the holdings on them. You know, I'm going to try to make this video a little bit quicker and let you do your own due diligence on what each one is made up of because they have their holdings in there. But I just wanted to show you this between the charts. So if you look at this, you'll see three different prices, 100, 400, 200. But if you look at the charts, very similar. So this is PSI right here. I know some of you, I had this in high def on the recording. I know some of you said you having some trouble seeing the symbols. This is PSI. Here is SOXX. And then here is SMH. And if you look, I'm gonna go real quick, PSI again, SOXX and SMH. Notice they're almost the same, all the same. Look at that graph, just very similar. So the differences in the, the, the gains over these are very small, but you can go ahead and take a look. This is one good way, and if you look where it was, and we're talking, let's see, 2021, 2020, and if we go back to the normal times here and even go right here at 144 all the way up to almost 233 and if we go down to where it was here at 96 this thing has already gone up 100% almost 140% roughly and I'm loving it now the question a lot of people have been asking me is Mo do you see the semiconductor industry the sector continuing on and I do, I actually see it moving on rapidly. There's a lot of things in AI, there's a lot of things in EV, There's, it's just needed. And I think you have a pent up demand out there that's gonna explode over the next 12 months, thus pushing this to new highs. So I am going to be buying, personally, some stocks in this, but I'm gonna be a little bit more risky and I'm gonna be doing some leverage buying and I'll be sharing that with the audience over there when, once I make up my mind over at the Patreon and eventually I'll be throwing it on here to let you follow along as well and see how I'm doing. But right now I'm looking in, these are straight, just no leverage ETS, you know, less risk that way. Now I have a that triple leveraged index fund that I, the portfolio I run over at the the Patreon. Now I do that because I'm high risk. I've done this for many years and I definitely do it for entertainment purposes only for people. I don't want anybody copying it. So if I was to recommend back in the day when I was a professional, I always would tell people to stick to the single leverage, the single leverage, this straight ETS right here that if you feel comfortable that over the, a certain amount of time it's gonna go up, I am comfortable in that. I used to tell people, just buy VOO. It's a, it's a, in, I used to tell people the S&P 500 index fund. It is a good way to invest your money. You know, If you do that, you're gonna outperform 80 to 90% of professional funds anyways over the next 10 years just because of the low fees and it's hard to beat the market because they have to charge fees and all that good stuff. You can read reports about it, it's pretty interesting stuff. I like these three for this for the short term because I think there's gonna be a, a big push on this. I think you're starting to see it when you talk about uh, Neo coming out saying they have the Nvidia chips in there. I like that and that made me think I already own that stock but I also had a couple other ETS with that in there. So I wanted to take advantage and find some ETS that have a lot more exposure to Nvidia as well as some other companies and I found them. And these are the single, the straight ETS of them but now I'll be moving into some leveraged ones as, after I make up my mind with a little bit more research of where I should go, cost and all that other good stuff. And I have that here, you can see Nvidia here. It looks pretty similar. If you look at the chart, pretty similar um, to the ETFs. Uh, so when you say, you know, if we go back to here and look at this 204 up to five, it's actually up 
100, more than 150%. So Nvidia did better than the ETF straight up, I believe, yes that one and i'm just doing this for y'all yeah so these doubled these ets doubled in nvidia if you look at the low of them uh they were around if we look here about 200 they're now at about five at one point almost tripled so you would have been better off but more risk by an nvidia by itself and holding it compared to the ets but if you're trying to get lower risk, you want that diversification, you go with an ETF because if one of the shares tank, you're still okay because most likely the other ones can pick it up unless it's a sector-wide pullback. I do not see something like that coming. Uh, you can see Nvidia here flattening out. It even looks like, hey, it almost looks bad, but once you realize it's up 150% compared to only a, a little over 100% here, then you realize it's not that bad when you look at this area right here. Uh, like I said, if you go by here, 200 all the way up to 540-ish, that's not bad. I'll take that every day. It's 150, 160, 170% almost. That's pretty good stuff. And then, of course, NEO. I did want to. I want to end this because the last video I did last night, I talked about NEO dropping, and it did drop. It was down five or six percent. I know some people saw the video and said it's not even down. At the time I made the video, video it was, and I just wanted to reassure everybody that it wasn't a permanent drop. To me, it was just another opportunity to buy. I even said it in the video yesterday. I should have pulled the trigger right when I saw that hit six, but I was in the middle of filming, and that was where I should have probably bought in because I was looking for an entry price, and that was the perfect excuse to buy when it comes out with just a, you know, in the big term of things, $1 billion is not much in, the, in, the, in terms of raising capital. Ah, I'm kind of, I'm kicking myself. Now I looked and at the end of the day, it was only down 0.64%. It actually recouped almost almost the entire five to 6% to being down hardly anything. So I do see, once again, there's a lot of people out there talking about NEO. They bring up great points. Not every, you know, NEO to me, I look three to five years down the road. And I know some people are looking, you know, weeks down the road, months down the road. I'm a long-term visionary kind of person when it comes to NEO. I'm trying to think of what society in China will look like with NEO growing like it is. You know, even in, in, a, in under two years from now, they're going to have production capabilities with their partners of over 300,000 vehicles per year of manufacturing. You know they're not stopping there. You know they're going to continue to announce more upgrades, maybe even building some of their own manufacturing places around the world to go international, if you will. And I think that would be a logical next step. I'm going to be excited about that. And yeah, they're going to have to raise a ton of money for that. But I'm going to be there for the ride. And I think you're going to see this stock go much, much higher as the revenue starts to increase. Just think Tesla years ago. All right. Think about, look at the market cap, go from there and just think Tesla years ago. So if we get up, let's see if I have the market cap here. I do. If we go to Neo and we look at the market cap, it's at 98 billion. So that says to me, is there a chance that this company could go to 1 trillion in the next five to 10 years? I think 10 years would be a very, I think it's going to do it before then. It depends what, what their management does to increase sales revenue around the world. If they want to be a massive global powerhouse, this company will go into the trillions. But if they stay kind of centralized where they are, I think it'll still hit a trillion, but I think it'll take a, you know, we'll see what they do. I'd be, I'm hoping they go very big international. I'm already seeing, they're already moving into Norway. There's some things I like to see, and I'm starting to see and I'm excited about. So in my vision, and I hope their vision is the same, they're looking at a, a worldwide rollout down over the next decade. And to me, I'm a long-term holder. And somebody said, can you see this company going to a, a trillion? I can. So if you do that and you're saying, I'm willing to hold this for 10 years, I'm putting it in my 401k, my IRA, and I'm going to hold it. And if they do everything right and they continue to do things right and they're leaders in manufacturing and technology and the batteries and everybody who they're working with, they're partnering up with in their tech, well, then this could do that. And then when you look here, that would push that price up to $620 a share. Could it happen? I'm thinking 10 years down the road. So this is not something I'm gonna see anytime soon. But, you know, seeing this double up to a $200 billion company as they continue to increase over the next two years, I definitely think that could happen. I already called for this to be at, what I say, 90 to $100 a share. It is at 62 now, so it'd be 50, it's not even 50% more. So can I see this company be a $150 billion company by the end of this year as it increases in manufacturing? 
and the points of sales and all that good stuff? Absolutely. So I am looking at this positively. And Neo, if the company is out there watching this, which I have a feeling there is always a few people in the company when they see somebody make a video about them, why don't you send me a Neo car? I'll even pay for it, set up a charger here. We'll do all kinds of videos on it. I think a lot of people would love to see it, one in the US. So look out, man, come down, get a hold of me. We can make this happen. So now that's what I got for you. And uh, it would be fun to see one of those Neo cars here in the United States, wouldn't it? I think I'd love to see it, especially that new sedan, that ET7 looked fantastic. I loved it. My wife wanted one. Man, that would be something else. So there, there's what we have here. And uh, hopefully everybody likes what we got here. I do feel good about Neo. I am gonna be adding some on here soon, as soon as I feel like the time is right. It might even be today. I can tell you I am making changes to some of my big portfolios today. Uh, so those who are watching this from the Discord and the Patreon, be ready because I'm going to be uh, selling a few things I think are underperforming in the 2020 fund and I'm going to be buying some uh, other stocks I think are going to outperform the market moving forward. So this is going to be an exciting day. I'm going to make it a, a, a good day. So now to end this, get, take advantage of those free stocks from Weevil. If you haven't done it yet, get the four free stocks and uh, put in a hundred bucks. You'll be able to have some fun with that and come over and join us at the Patreon, help support the channel. I'll be able to talk to you over there. It'll be a lot of fun. Thanks for sticking around. Let's get out there and make some money.